and welcome back to Adobe Live, everyone. Good morning Hello. from San Francisco. Um, I'm your host, Oren Sauer, and we are back for day two of digital illustration in Photoshop with Victoria Pavlov. Thank you for so having me. Back. Thank yeah. you. Day one was fantastic, and we'll, we'll do a recap in a little bit. Um, I can't wait to learn more illustration secrets from you today. Thank you. Um, so thank you all for joining us in the chat. How are you all doing today? Let us know. And while you all are, are chatting, um, we have a full day today as well. So let's bring out the schedule and take a look at what's going on. So this morning, you had your Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge with Claudie. And now we're with Drawing and Painting. Um, and after that, we're going to be doing the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge with Andrea and then the XD Design Systems with Christine Fan. So stick around for that afterwards. Um, and our today's Photoshop Creative Challenge is to create an artistic self-portrait by combining images with your latest selfie using the pen tool, gradients, and masks. And I really can't wait to see what Me comes too. out today. This should be pretty interesting. So get those submissions in. Uh, we'll review your designs um, in about an hour and a half. So start designing and sharing on Discord before then. Um, and stick around uh, as well, because in 30 minutes, we'll be doing a giveaway. Um, I think those are Sticker Mule stickers, so really awesome prize. Yay. It's 100 uh, 3 by 3 inch die cut stickers. So that is awesome. Stick around, uh, start chatting, and we'll be doing that giveaway later. So Victoria, what did we work on yesterday for fo folks who weren't here? Yesterday, we uh, started with um, a rough outline of Jeff, right? Mm -hmm. Jeff. Jeff. This is Jeff the <laughs> alien, y'all. And we finished our <clears throat> stream yesterday with uh, this image. And I went to my hotel room and I came up with some <laughs> <laughs> extra idea. Yeah, yeah. I applied a little bit more um, shadows, highlights. I blended um, all um, colors on my background. And also, I added um, this spaceship, as mm -hmm. you requested, guys. And I will show to you all my layers. Uh, obviously, I uh, merged everything in my alien um, image. I uh, merged my background, my Jeff, and my um, uh, all colors blended together, and I added extra shape. I painted this shape using a separate layer mm -hmm. and the mixer brush tool. Also, I added some uh, stars, um, a little bit more elements, and this is our image for today. Thank you, Val. Now, what I will do, I will merge everything together. I will uh, flatten my image just like this. I will duplicate my layer just to show to you guys before and after. And now we have few, a few options. We can use our adjustment, um, adjustment layers to apply uh, shadows, <clears throat> or we can use a light effect. So before that, I would like to add a few extra details to my uh, spaceship. Mm -hmm. Also, of course, I can add um, details to my spaceship using um, my brush. But because we are talking about Photoshop, we can do something in other way. What I will do, I duplicated my layer. I will duplicate one more time. I will go to filter and I will click on a lens flare just like this. And in the lens flare window, we have three, uh, four actually um, lens type uh, we can apply to our image. Again, guys, it's up to you. Probably I will switch to 35 millimeter prime and I can adjust the brightness of my lens flare. After I will adjust the brightness and I will specify my uh, lens um, type, I will reposition my uh, lens flare. I will reposition it. Let me move it here somewhere in my spaceship. My, I wish I will have bigger window, and I hope Photoshop team seeing this. Uh, so, <laughs> a little bit, uh, I will decrease brightness, and I will click OK. And because I have small window, I reposition my lens flare in a wrong um, way, so I will undo it, and I will 
be back to my lens flare window and I will reposition it just like this. And voila. Of nice. course, I can do better. Mm -hmm. And now I will do a uh, same thing twice. Lens flare and I will reposition same lens flare to another location, just like this. Maybe like this. And while you're doing that, uh, a couple of people asked about flattening your layers. They yes. noticed that you flatten them all. I'm sure you have a backup, right? Um, some people yes. freak out about that. <laughs> no, all my, um, before I will apply my final steps to my um, image, I always save my file as PSD file and I'm duplicating my uh, file, uh, document example. Um, I will go to edit, and um, I'm sorry, um, image and I will duplicate my document. In that case, uh, I always have a PSD file, mm -hmm. original Photoshop file with all layers and I can apply my finals uh, step using a uh, duplicate uh, version of my um, document. That's a great way of working. Thank you. Because um, even if you work on your uh, client project and you're not sure if your client will um, love um, all your final details you want to apply to your image, it's always a good way to have uh, PSD files, original PSD files, because I'm sure I can guarantee your client will come back to you not one time asking to redo this or that. Mm -hmm. So this is our uh, spaceship um, light. You can add more or less, it's up to you. And now definitely we have a light comes from our spaceship. We have two ways we can uh, use um, let's see adjustments we simply can um, click on exposure and we can bring down exposure just like this don't panic i will fix everything and because guys i apply uh, adjustment a separate layer i can adjust my adjustment layer in any way i like i can bring down opacity of my layer also um, adjustment layer applied with a layer mask i will click on um layer mask to activate it. I will switch to a gradient tool. In the options bar, I will specify from a black to transparent. I will uh, specify a radial gradient and I will bring down opacity to about 61. And I will paint out my um, adjustment layer from my uh, spaceship to my alien, just like that. Let me close my adjustment just like that. And now we have a light from um, our spaceship, uh, reflects on our um, alien and another side of our alien in the dark. Also guys, it's uh, you can use another way. Let me close, um, hide my uh, adjustment layer. I can click on filter, a render, lighting effects and here guys in Photoshop we have a lot of different um, lighting effect we can Ooh. effects we can apply to our image uh, you can um, switch uh, to different presets example RGB lights it's very interesting you can modify in any way you like you can uh, make it uh, brighter or darker you can expand diameter so you can adjust every single light it's everything is up to you you can switch to another light you can um, switch to soft sport light example and you can reposition it oh, that's cool Yes, it's very cool. Guys, everything, of course, it's up to you. Uh, no rules in here. Everything is up to you, up to your client. And of course, you can adjust light in any way you like. So I will cancel it for now and I will stay with my adjustment layer. If I'm happy with my uh, sh highlights and shadows, I will merge my layers. I will merge my visible layers and I will uh, launch back my adjustments panel. And here, guys, we have very powerful tools. Example, if you will click on color lookup, you will be able to add basically um, colors to your uh, document. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, moonlight example. 
It's very nice effect. We can bring down opacity of our layer and our image is ready. If you are not happy, if you want to add something extra, simply merge your layers. And now guys, we'll launch Camera Raw filter. I use Camera Raw all the time in my photography workflow, design workflow, or a digital painting workflow. And here guys, in Camera Raw, you can adjust, you can apply your final um, details to your image in any way you like. But first, before you will start applying changes to your document and moving all sliders, just switch to profiles um, workspace. And here we have a lot of presets ready to go. Example, if you will click on artistic um, uh, profiles, if you will expand it, you have a lot of profiles ready to go. If I will click on artistic 02, I will be able to adjust amount of this particular uh, profile I would like to apply to my image. I can make it, um, I can, value can be from uh, 1 to 200. I would like to stay somewhere about 50. I will close it and now I can adjust my image. Guys, everything again is up to you. I will increase um, clarity a little bit. I will move the hay slider just slightly and I will click OK. And this is before and this is after. So guys, I will post it on my Behance uh, later on yeah. today after my stream. And let's talk about something else. Um, Let's talk about um, another amazing tool in Photoshop. You can use one tool to create something very special from scratch. You can create even this a car using only one tool, the curvature pen tool. Um, I started this image from a white background. I could not sleep at night and I decided to, to do something. And I love the curvature pen tool. So I had about 248 layers for now, but it was <laughs> about 400. Yeah. yeah, it's small amount. <laughs> and all shapes, basically it's not shapes, it's the curvature pen tool. And I used only one tool, the curvature pen tool. So that's incredible, Victoria. <laughs> Thank like, you. And that's just one tool, guys. It's amazing. Yes. One tool, and you can do anything you like. Mm -hmm. So guys, today I would like to give you a few options. Uh, like yesterday, you can choose um, image you want me to work on. Uh, so we have this pumpkin and we have this pumpkin. <laughs> Not pumpkin big options. Yes. <laughs> pumpkin options, but they're different, guys. So this one, number one or number two. Do you all like the short stem or the long stem pumpkin? Yes. My preference is the long stem. I like the little curve, but we'll see, okay. we'll see what chat says. Um, and while that's happening, uh, there was a, an earlier question from Timothy about lens flare. I didn't want to interrupt you, but yeah. um, can you put lens flares on uh, their own layers? Or Yes. Okay. You can put your uh, lens flare on a separate layer, but in this case, it will be very difficult to specify specific location of your uh, lens flare. If mm -hmm. you want to, example, you have car and you want to put lens flare on a car lights on specific location, it's very, will be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But you can uh, use uh, your image layer, just duplicate this layer and you can bring down opacity of this layer later on okay. to um, have control over uh, how bright or um, with less or more brightness you would like to see your lens flare effect. I'm two. I've seen a lot for two. I think two is the long stem, guys, This is right? one, yes. This is, okay. Yeah, this that's is, the, the first one. Yes, okay. So I, I'm, I think I'm seeing more twos if twos. I counted the right way. Um, it's hard to keep up with you all. So let's let's do the long stem. Uh, if, guys, it's impossible uh, to me to start and finish this car in one stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I we would be here for a 50 month. hours. <laughs> yeah. I spent 50 hours on it. <laughs> But they are all amazed by that car illustration. <laughs> Thank so. you, guys. So uh, let's start. I will close my first pumpkin just like this. 
and again I um, uh, created a rough outline just to save our time with the curvature of pen tool you don't need to create any outline mm -hmm. I just wanted to uh, show to you what we will be working on and here is my reference image <laughs> just general pumpkin, yeah pumpkin <laughs> reference yes <laughs> so what I will do I will um, size down my sketch just like this basic composition um, if we will talk about basic composition, guys, never um, position your image in the middle of your document. It's like um, a, a passport photo. <laughs> you mm -hmm. so try something uh, different. Try to position your um, image, uh, main subject to the left or to the right. It's, um, again, everything is up to you, but um, avoid uh, pos to position your subject directly in the middle. Mm -hmm. Make a lot your more work. visual interest. Yes, yeah. exactly. And now I will add one uh, empty layer. I will restock this layer under my sketch layer. And I will fill this layer with a white color. Very simple, just like this. And now I will highlight my top layer, my sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer. And I will switch to the curvature of pen tool. The curvature of the pen tool, I naming this tool the better version of uh, the pen tool because it's more intuitive. It's super easy to work with. You can uh, start anything with the curvature of pen tool and you can adjust your shape at any time using the same tool. And this is awesome. So I, I selected my uh, the curvature of pen tool. In the options bar, I will specify that I would like to create a shape, not pass. Pass is very helpful if you would like to select some object using subject using uh, the curvature of pen tool. But um, in our case, um, I will specify that I would like to create shape. I would like to fill my shape with um, pumpkin color. And also I would like to have um, stroke. Definitely I need to specify um, uh, stroke uh, type and size and again guys I can adjust anything later on when I specified everything I will click on um, anywhere in my document to create the first um, curvature pass um, point just like this and now you don't need to worry about anything just enjoy your creation and um, uh, the pen tool will do everything for you so now I will click somewhere here. I will move it anywhere I like, just like this. And now I will uh, continue creating my curvature of point, just like this. Guys, it's super simple. So you're, you're using a series of points and then Photoshop yes. is creating that line for yes. you. Just like this. Look at this. And voila, our first pass is ready. That's so fast. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sorry, my uh, first shape is ready. Mm -hmm. Definitely I need to adjust some points. It's um, not uh, as I wanted. So I will click anywhere along my shape path, just like this. I'm sorry, I'm creating extra points. And I will drag this point outside, just like this. Quain in the chat says, um, I'm a beginner and uh, he's, he's wondering if he can, he can do this. Uh, sorry if I botched mm. your name, but uh, I, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of good resources online as well. Yes. Um, it's very easy. The Courage of Pen tool is um, one of not too many uh, tools in Photoshop that you can start with, uh, start and finish your um, creation with. It's very, very easy to use. Don't be scary. It's just mm -hmm. try it. And I would like to adjust this side of my shape. And again, I will click. I will create a new uh, curvature point just like that. And I will drag this point outside of my shape. If I, I have extra curvature point and I would like to delete it, I will highlight this curvature point just like that. And I will click delete. 
As you can see, nothing is too complicated. It's super, super easy. So this is my first shape. Let me adjust this side. And now I would like to add a little bit more uh, stroke effect to my um, shape. In the options bar, I will click on uh, value of my stroke and I will increase the value just like this. And voila, my first shape is ready. Now I need to start creating another uh, side of my pumpkin because in uh, another shape will be located behind my front shape. I will select my original sketch layer. I will click to create a new layer just like that and I will start creating my new shape. Why I'm using separate layers for each shape? Uh, just because I can adjust later on anything I want separately. I can adjust any shape separately later on. And I don't care if this is um, this shape is not too clean. I mean, it's not. Um, it's a little bit overlapping my first shape. It will be not visible. This layer is on background. And again, I need to specify a value of my um, stroke just like this. And now again, I will highlight my uh, sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer and I will continue creating another um, part of my pumpkin. Dana says you make it look easy. It's easy. It's really, really easy. Photoshop team great did a great job with this tool. It's amazing tool. Now, what uh, what's the biggest difference? I mean, I think it's in the name, but the curvature pen tool and the regular pen tool in terms of technique. I, as you're working, I, I feel like the curvature, in my opinion, is sometimes easier to work with because it's already forming yes. those curves for you. Yes, curvature pen tool is just like your school pen. Mm -hmm just creating vector art. Uh, and uh, with pen tool, sometimes you need to know exactly in what, um, uh, what, how you need to move your uh, path to create perfect shape. Mm -hmm. With a um, curvature of pen tool, you don't need to think, just, uh, just follow, example, if you want to create a simple apple, just create a simple apple shape and you can adjust everything later on. You don't need to have any specific knowledge in vector art. Mm -hmm. It's very intuitive. It's like freehand um, drawing. Yeah. And actually, sometimes it's easier than, than freehand drawing for those yes. of you who are intimidated mm -hmm. by, by drawing, because here you can manipulate every single point to yes. your exact uh, specifications, which is exactly. nice. Exactly. Um, and we have been so caught up in your amazing uh, pen tool demo that we have five minutes until the chat and win. Oh, so get you... ready, get in yes. the chat. And I will specify value of my mm -hmm. uh, stroke. And so you don't really care exactly what mm -mm. Uh, underneath the, no. the layer so it w looks like. So no. that's why you're working yeah. like that. If you have OCD, <laughs> you would like to be exact. Sure. <laughs> so you can spend more time mm -hmm. and create. But it's, uh, it will be not visible. So don't worry about it. Oh, talking about workspace. I mm -hmm. forgot to show to you yesterday, guys. You can create a separate um, a workspace for each workflow. You can create your separate um, workspace for painting, for uh, web, for photography workflow. And the best part, you can adjust, customize your um, toolbar. You can remove all, example, in my painting workflow, I'm not, too, I'm not using a lot of uh, tools. Usually I'm switching to my to my painting uh, workflow where I have only a few tools uh, in my toolbars. And in that ca case, I can easy access to any tool. And the best part, I can um, isolate my tools um, by uh, separate rows. 
so it's easier also you can adjust your uh, menus colors you can adjust positions of your um panels and everything like that uh, samantha asks um do you think there's an advantage on using photoshop instead of illustrator for uh, vector shapes and graphics um if you, uh okay uh if you are um Illustrator and your um, number one uh, app is Illustrator, definitely you have no reason to switch to Photoshop. But if you primarily a Photoshop user mm -hmm. or you want to combine raster and vector, uh, Photoshop is your app. So mm -hmm. example, I would like, I can start um, working on my project example with this pumpkin using the curvature pen tool. And I can finish this project using um, Kyle Vector Impressionist uh, mm. brushes to create yeah. something in Van Gogh style. So also I'm using uh, Photoshop with Curvature Pen Tool if I have, example, um, um, some a portrait and I would like to add um, flowers or uh, any other graphic element. Um, and I would like to create something uh, vector I'm using as a curvature pen tool in Photoshop. Great. Um, Dana asks, um, did you create the sketches on paper and use Adobe Capture, or did you use a different technique to make the initial sketches for the pumpkin? Usually I'm using um, Adobe Sketch, mm -hmm. Adobe uh, Draw, or um, now I'm using uh, Adobe Fresco only. Gotcha. I, I bet she asks because she sees the um, assets are in your Creative Cloud library already. So yes. How did you get those sketches in there? Uh, it's uh, I can't go over Fresco right now, guys, but uh, it's all Adobe applications. Um, mm, it's yeah. all across all Adobe applications. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to use. Basically, you can add any sketch to your uh, library. Um, you can open your sketch in Photoshop. Example, let me double click on this. If I would like to add this sketch to my library, I will click on plus sign in my library panel and Photoshop will ask me, um, do I want to add a uh, foreground color or uh, do I want to add graphic? I will click on graphic and voila, I have this uh, sketch in my library and I can access uh, to this library from any Adobe application, mobile or mm. desktop. Great. So what's next for our pumpkin? Next to pumpkin, um, I will create a new layer and I will create this very beautiful green steam just like this, same. And I will change the color of course. If you would like to create straight line using the curvature pen tool, just double click on this um, curvature point and you will create straight line just mm -hmm. like that. That's really intuitive. Yes, it's amazing, amazing tool. I love this tool. And I think now might be a good time to pause because it's time yes. for one lucky chatter to win a prize. All right, jump in that chat, say hello, and then we'll be our, our AI selection picker magic. Um, yes. We'll be selecting a winner soon. So Victoria, what, um, while we're waiting, what are your favorite fall images to, to work on besides pumpkins? What are your, some of your favorites? Mine are like ravens and crows, you know, oh. like in cornfields. That's a very, very nice aesthetic for me. And my favorite is, um, I didn't, um, I try, and I tried to recreate this image for mm -hmm. many years and for some reason I had no time. I will try this year. My favorite um, association with autumn is simple window and you look out Ooh. from the house yeah. outside and yeah. all leaves and everything mm -hmm. and cat in the, in the window. So wow. something like yes. that. Something cozy. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and we have our winner. So Derek Ome or One. Yay. 
Yes, you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. So you win 100 three by three die cut sticker mule stickers. Wow. Which is awesome. Yes. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I love making stickers myself, so I'm a little bit yeah. jealous. Um, I need more too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need more. <laughs> yes. So um, even if you didn't win, um, we still have an opportunity for you. You have the chance to go to uh, stickermule.com slash Adobe Live 19, and you can get three, uh, 10 stickers for just $1, which is a great deal. Yes. Um, stickers can be pricey, and that's, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. So thank you all for coming in and chatting. So let's continue. I would like to change the color. What I will do. First of all, I will adjust my path, my shape. And I will switch fill color to probably, let's see, green. But guys, if I would like to add um, two colors in same shape, I can do this as well. I will switch to gradient uh, color just like that. And now I will just um, start playing with my colors. First of all, I will um, switch angle, change angle, just like this. I will double click on black uh, color point. I don't know why it's not clickable, just like this. And I will specify color for my first color stuff. Maybe something like this. Let's see. Maybe darker. Yeah, yes. I like that. Thank you. And I will specify color for my second stop, color stop. Double click and I will use a lighter color just like that. And also guys, I can adjust in any way I like. Everything is up to me and up to you. You also can adjust uh, domination of some specific color. Just move this uh, color stops point in a way you like. And I love it. That looks great. Thank you. Now we will add a little bit more details to our pumpkin. I will highlight my top um, layer. And guys, by the way, in Photoshop now, you don't need to um, click on some uh, some layer to find your uh, specific layer. You can uh, click on uh, canvas just like that and Photoshop will select some specific uh, layer for you. Example like this. It's, it's pretty much e awesome and I love it. Uh, this option made my life much, much yep. easier. It's so easy. Yeah. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to my curvature pen tool and I will specify, I will not specify anything. And now <laughs> I will add, let me see, maybe I will switch. Okay, this pumpkin. I have my reference image <laughs> open on my iPad. I like the texture of that one. Yes, this is cool. Yeah. And now we, we will start applying some details. So let's start with this one. Let me a little bit zoom in switch to go to pen tool and I will restock my new layer under my first layer, first shape, because I would like to add detail behind my front shape. And just like this. And again, you can create a more accurate um, illustration. It's up to you. Just like this. I will close my shape and now I will specify all colors. First of all, I um, don't need a color for my stroke, but I would like to check uh, change a color for um, my shape. I would like to use something bright, different color than I have right now. Maybe let's see this one. And I can adjust my shape. Guys, if you would like to stay uh, strictly in um, vector art, you can leave your shape, let me switch, you can leave your shape as it is. If you would like to add something more, uh, more transition to your shape, you can apply uh, 
let me delete it. You can use our previous method. One second, guys, I will select this shape. You can change from um, a fill a color to um, um, a gradient color, or you can apply a layer mask to your shape just like that. You can switch to a uh, gradient tool in the options bar. You need to specify from um, black, uh, from uh, black to transparent or from white to transparent, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. And specify opacity and just paint out just like that. In that case, you will have a nice transition between your colors. But again, everything is up to you. If you paint it out more than you want it, simply switch your foreground color from black to white and you will be able to bring back uh, all details of your layer. Just like this. And again, guys, it's up to you. It's your imagination, it's your soul, it's your vision. So, no. so to reiterate, you created a mask and then you use gradients yeah. to actually edit and give more depth to mm -hmm. the shadows. Or you can use your favorite um, paintbrush tool with a black color on mm -hmm. it and you can paint out. And if you want to bring back all detail, just switch color of your brush to white mm -hmm. and you will bring it back. Now I will create another layer and I will use same our beautiful um, curvature pen tool to create another detail of our pumpkin. Just like this. Double click. And again, I don't care about um, how not perfect my shape under my uh, front layer because my layer is behind my mm. first shape. And I don't need stroke and I would like to apply this color to my shape. And I need to bring my shape here, just like this. And we will apply another shape. I will highlight my first front shape. I will create a new empty layer. And using same tool, I will apply, create one simple shape. Your pumpkin can be in any shape you like, from abstract to um, basically any shape. Jarena asks, um, if I want to design the stickers, uh, could I use the curvature pen tool in Photoshop? And absolutely. would it look good when printed? And yeah. Absolutely. If, um, our recommendation would always be um, start at 300 DPI yes. for your Photoshop files, and that's a good print quality um, DPI or PPI, um, yes. which is pixels per inch or dots per inch, mm -hmm. and that'll give you the crispest sticker you could ever ask for. Yes. Um, so you can work in Photoshop to make stickers as well. Absolutely. But just in case, if you're printing company, if you would like to print some something um, big like mm -hmm for entire wall behind us, um, the best way to bring your PSD file to Illustrator and save as Illustrator file because yeah. some printing company, if you would like to print something super big, they prefer to work with um, Illustrator file. And that's what's nice about like Photoshop and Illustrator is they can work together. You yes. can send things back and forth. Illustrator will open your Photoshop file and convert um, all layers to shape mm -hmm. just like this, no time. Yeah. This pumpkin would make a great sticker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and let's add a little bit more details. I will add a new empty layer and I will start with top of my pumpkin. Just a little bit more detail. And again, guys, of course you can create as many or less details. Uh, everything is up to you guys. Um, I have uh, no uh, answer what uh, your um, image supposed to be in more or less details. It's up to you. Okay, let me reshape this shape just like that. And now, guys, 
I will click on my um, fill icon in the options bar and I will specify that I would like to apply a gradient color. In gradient color, I would like to um, change my colors. I will click on um, black color stop just like that and I will specify um, color for this color stop. I would like to apply same color I applied to my pumpkin. So as you can see, if I will point my mouse or my pen uh, above uh, my uh, color picker um, panel, um, my uh, cursor will uh, be, uh, became uh, eyedropper tool. I will click on my pumpkin color and voila. I will click OK and I will click on my um, white color stop icon and I will switch to something more red, just like this. And I will move my first color stop a little bit closer to my second one, just like this. And now, guys, you can see that we have very nice gradient transition. And before I will forget, I will uncheck stroke. I don't need stroke in this shape. And look at this, guys. Now we have completely a uh, nice transition between colors. And if you would like, you can adjust it at any time. Why? Because we created this shape using separate layer. Mm -hmm. And let's continue switching back to curvature pen tool. You can create any shape you like. Just like this, maybe one extra curvature point and I will uncheck a stroke. I don't need stroke and I would like to have um, same colors applied to my shape. Double click this and this color and I will a little bit customize my transition just like this. Mm -hmm. This is so far what um, we have. Guys, you can apply a lot of details. It's up to you. But sometimes less is better, specifically with a uh, vector art. Mm -hmm. So what I will do, I would like to add a little bit more uh, reflection to my uh, pumpkin because as we said um, yesterday, all subject reflects everything around it. Mm -hmm. I will highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to my curvature pen tool and I will apply a few highlights. And for those of you just tuning in or have just come in to the chat, I noticed uh, Claire Louise just came in. She was here yesterday. Um, Hi. We are working on uh, the, using the pen tool in Photoshop to create illustrations now. Yes. So it's a different technique from yesterday where we, we were using brushes instead. This gives you a really crisp, um, defined illustration. You can get a lot of different effects out of this, but it, it's very different from the depth and texture you get um, out of brushes. Yes. Just a different method of illustrating. <laughs> yes. And now, uh, because I created highlight using separate layer, I will bring down opacity of this layer just like this. And I'm happy with this reflection. I will create another empty layer using same as the curvature pen tool. I will add a little bit more uh, reflection here. And you can adjust your shape in any time you like. What I will do, I will um, specify that I don't need the stroke color, but I would like to have my shape in white color and I will bring down opacity of my layer, just like that. Let me zoom out. And I would like to, first of all, now guys, I can um, hide my, um, original sketch layer just like that and here is our pumpkin i would like to add a few extra details to it and we will be done with this pumpkin i will highlight my top layer i will create a new empty layer i will switch back to my curvature pen tool and i will add a few 
final details to my art. And maybe I will restock this layer for sure. Just like this. I will change the color uh, of my shape to white. I don't need stroke color and I will bring down opacity of this layer. And I will restock this layer. I will bring it behind my front shape, just like this. That really makes that stem pop. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now, guys, we need to add shadow under our pumpkin. I will um, highlight my um, top layer, my background layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to my uh, Curvature Pen tool and I will add first shadow. And just to let you all know, we're about halfway through our time um, to get your design uh, challenges in for Victoria and I to review. And just a reminder, the challenge for today is to create an artistic self-portrait so um, cool. by combining images with your latest selfie using the pen tool, gradient, and masks. So if you get those in uh, within 42 minutes, we'll be able to look at those. Um, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait either. Yesterday, guys, you did great job. Yeah, so impressive. We were talking about yes. that earlier, like the just amount of talent that you all have and yes. uh, using these new techniques that you learn for every challenge has been great to see. Yeah. Talented group. Very talented. And a little bit um, more uh, shadow. Uh, guys, if you are creating shadow, um, usually I have um, two or three different layers in my shadow because the uh, layer which is close to our subject is supposed to have darker shade. Mm -hmm. Just like that, and I can bring down opacity of this layer too. And guys, our pumpkin is ready. Yay, I want that pumpkin on my doorstep so I can <laughs> make a jack-o'-lantern out of it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I want to show one extra um, if you, example, guys, if you would like to um, create some postcard or e-card or you would like to share your um, creation on your social media, the best way is our um, let me launch uh, Adobe Spark post. If you will launch Adobe Spark post, you can create any uh, post for your social media example click on this plus sign and you need to specify uh, what you would like to create uh, example graphics I would like to create uh, these graphics for my Instagram or Facebook post and I will click on graphics um, Instagram I will click on see more and here guys we have a lot of templates uh, if you uh, like any of them simply click on your um, examples these templates uh, create from and here you can adjust your templates you can um bring your image we just created with you uh, exchange this image you can add um, any text you like you can add a type you can change type uh, design uh, of your text anything you like mm -hmm. you can uh, share it uh, on instagram and anywhere you like. This is my best way of sharing my art via Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, Spark is a great resource. Yes. Spark is a really, really great app. And you can use Spark on your phone mm -hmm. as well. So guys, now we have another um, image to work on. At this time, I would like to show to you guys completely Wow, way of creating <laughs> painting in Photoshop. Okay, let's do it. I will create a new um, document. Any size will work, it's up to you. Just like that. And here I have opened, um, let's work on same pumpkin. I have same pumpkin. 
I will click on my uh, image in my Creative Cloud Library. If I would like to add image from my Creative Cloud Library into my opened document, I will click on it and I will drag it into my document just like this. And now I can resize it, I can reposition it, I can do anything I like. And I will click OK to accept all changes. Now, guys, this um, we have pumpkin um, with equal sides. So we can start working on a left side of our pumpkin and continue working toward right. Or we can mm -hmm. start from right and uh, continue working toward left. But Photoshop team uh, released something very unique, and I love it. Uh, I will switch to my um, uh, brush tool. In my brushes panel, I will switch to my uh, Kyle Webster favorite uh, watercolor brush. We have a big package of Kyle's um, watercolor brushes. They're amazing, guys. They're something out of this world. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. They're amazing. And because I don't have a lot of time, <laughs> I would like to cheat, but it's not cheating. <laughs> I selected my um, favorite brush. And in the options bar, I will click on this uh, beautiful butterfly icon. And voila, here we can turn on our symmetry uh, feature. We can create mandala, and we will create later on. Or we can uh, create our pumpkin. I will click on vertical, just like that. I can adjust my uh, symmetry uh, option. I will click OK. And now I will create a new empty layer. Using my um, brush tool, let me specify color first. Example, this color. I can start working on one side of my document, and Photoshop will mirror mirrors everything to the other side of my document. Wow. Look at this. How awesome is it? I love it. And because I'm working with amazing watercolor brushes, I don't need to worry about how I will blend everything. Photoshop does the job again. Look at this, guys. How amazing is it? That is so cool. And it speeds up your yes. workflow as well and makes yeah. sure everything is even. Yes, it's amazing. I love symmetry painting. And watercolor brushes, oh my god, I love them. Look, I'm using only one side of my document. And I will switch to another color. I can create a new empty layer. And I can add a few details, just like this. Now, guys, if you would like to add a few splashes of water, because we are working with watercolor brushes, we can do it. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch color of my brush to white. In the options bar, I will specify opacity of my brush to 100% and flow to 100%. I will increase size of my brush and I will apply a few splashes of water. Guys, look at this. If you would like to turn off symmetry um, painting feature, simply uh, click on your butterfly icon one more time and click symmetry off. Just like this. It's just that easy. <laughs> this that's, is that's amazing. Very easy. And if we will talk about mandala creation, it's it's something out of this world. Again, I will create a new empty um, document. You can create your document in any size you like. My document in white color. I will click on another brush. Let's see what brush I would like to use. Let's use a hard round brush with smaller size. I will change color of my brush to a white. And I will click on butterfly icon one more time, and I will click on mandala. Here, guys, I can specify how many segments I would like to see. I will move my slider all the way to the left, and my segment count is 10, just like that. I will adjust it, and just like that. Now, guys, I will um, zoom in my document for better preview. And I will switch back to my um, brush tool. I will bring size of my brush down and a look at this. 
Guys, just look at this. I prefer to use a separate color for a uh, layer for each color. So I will switch to yellow now. You can create your uh, mandala in any way you like. If I would like to add a simple dots, I will do that well as well, just like this. This is so cool. Yes, it's, it is. It's just, it's mesmerizing to watch. I love it. Yeah. And changing colors, creating new layer, bringing size of my brush down, just like that. I have few projects uh, I created with symmetry painting in um, my portfolio at Behance. So guys, anything you like. It's very easy. It's very relaxing. It is very relaxing. It's relaxing to watch. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure everyone in chat agrees. <laughs> Everyone's amazed. So guys, how much time we have left? We have about an hour. OK. We have a half hour until the uh, challenge. Perfect. Let me close this document. This one too. And I will leave this one open. Okay, guys, we have another um, uh, sketches to work with. <laughs> we can work with the curvature pen tool again to create something more extreme. Let's talk about this. <laughs> extreme. <laughs> what do you prefer, this one or this one? Okay, so this time pirate skull yes. is one and then regular skull is two. Yes. So everyone vote on your favorite. It's up to you guys. It is. And I won't mess up which <laughs> number is which this time. So I, I kind of like the pirate skull myself. What about you? What's yeah, it? me too. Yeah. Got one for the pirate skull. Julia said one. Regular skin. Regular skull. Skull. One. Pirate. pirate. One, one, one. Pirate. Okay. Like half and a half now. Maybe we have pirate. time for both. We might have time for both. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One, one. Hi, Donna. All right. I think we got a preference for the pirate one. Yes. Let's start with and number then, one. Yeah, and then we'll probably have time for, yeah. for two as well. Yeah. Let me close this one. I will open. <laughs> Do you ever uh, mix um, the pen tool and Photoshop brushes together? Yes. Example, if I would like to add some impressionism, uh, example, uh, like um, starry, uh, starry Night on my background of this pumpkin, I will use Kyle Webster impressionist mm -hmm. uh, brushes, and I will create this beautiful Starry Night on background. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So it's a um, great way to combine and create something uh, very unique. Mm -hmm. So what I will do, I will bring down a size of uh, this pirate. He's probably dead. I will create a new empty layer. I will fill out this layer with white color, just for better preview. Just like that. And let's start, guys. I will highlight my top layer, my um, sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer. And again, I will switch back to my um, the curvature pen tool. And we will start creating our first shape. Um, I will uncheck stroke color. I don't want to have it now. And I will specify color for my first shape. And just relaxing, creating this beautiful art. Guys, if you have any questions, we are here. Yeah, please, please ask any questions you might have for Victoria. Yeah. Fun to watch it slowly fill as well. For better preview your layer under your top layer, simply bring down opacity of your top layer and you will uh, see uh, your sketch layer. Just 
just like this i will adjust this layer and i can bring up opacity of my top layer just like this now i will create a new empty layer and i will still bring down opacity of my first layer just like that i will highlight my new top layer i will um specify a darker shade of same color just like that and let's add a few details definitely not this color <laughs> Let's change the color. Maybe this one. Yes, it will be better. And now I will create a new empty layer. The best way of organizing your layer panel is renaming your layers, creating folders and subfolders. Also, you can apply colors for your label uh, layers. My uh, rule is if i love this layer and i'm sure i will stick to uh, with this layer i'm applying green color to this layer if i have some layer and i'm not sure about this layer i will apply a red color to this layer so it's um the best visual representation of your layers so now i created a new layer and i will continue working on some details. Uh, Alexandra asks, um, what are you pressing to draw with the curvature pen tool or are you just clicking the points? So like how does the pen tool drawing method actually work? Uh, give me one second and I will show it to you. One second. Let me hide all my layers. I will create a new empty layer just like this. I will switch back to my curvature pen tool. And example, if I would like to create an apple, I will click anywhere in my document just like that. And I have created my first curvature point. After that, I will click anywhere else. Example here, because I know my apple have some has some specific shape. Mm -hmm. I will click on here, here, and look curvature point, um, uh, curvature pen tool creates everything for me just like this even if I have created my apple not in the best shape first of all I will change the color and now I can adjust my shape I can click anywhere in my uh, shape pass line example here on my curvature point if I will click on this curvature point Photoshop will highlight this curvature point I can click on it and I can drag it outside or inside. Basically, I can reposition my um, curvature point. Repositioning my uh, curvature point will help me to create uh, some specific form. Just like this. And I can continue working on my apple and I cre can create my apple in any shape I like. Very easy. It's, it's super easy. So... And now I will continue working on our pirate. And Alexander asks, um, the drawing that you did of the pirate skull, um, how did you bring that into Photoshop? Did you draw it in Photoshop? <laughs> Always questions with the, with the sketches. Definitely I can draw it in Photoshop, mm -hmm. no problems. But, um, uh, Working uh, using Adobe Mobile applications gives me a uh, freedom of working from anywhere. And um, my um, iPad is always with me or my iPhone using my mobile devices. I can create my um, sketch using Adobe Illustrator, mm -hmm. Illustrator Draw, Adobe Sketch, Photoshop Sketch, or Adobe New Application, Adobe Fresco. All uh, those uh, applications are mobile applications and I can bring uh, my sketch to my Creative Cloud library and I can continue working on my project. Or I can bring, save my sketch to my um, Creative Cloud uh, file document and bring into my Photoshop. Yeah, what's nice about that workflow is you can work on the go. You mm -hmm. can start your sketches anywhere and then when you're home, you can yeah. come in and start working on the desktop. Yeah, absolutely. Or uh, you start working on your project in Photoshop, mm -hmm. bring your file oh, yeah. to your mobile. Yeah that easy yeah basically you can be productive from anywhere right now 
thanks to Photoshop or for uh, Adobe. Mm -hmm. My life is so much easier now. <laughs> yeah, from anywhere. Jan asks um, if you can make straight lines with the curvature tool. Yes, I will show just in a second. Give mm -hmm. me one second, I will finish this shape. I will change the color. Yes, to create straight shape, let me create a new empty layer, just like that. I will click to create my first curvature point or any curvature point, example one, second. To create straight line, I will double click on my curvature uh, point. Double click and double click. I, I created extra point, just like that. That's really intuitive. Yes. So, and you, you, can, so you can make straight lines with yes, the curvature absolutely. tool as well. Absolutely. No limitations. Mm -hmm. And a few more details in here. And we will add a few more highlights. The curvature pen tool in Photoshop basically the same tool as uh, we have in Illustrator, but in Illustrator is this tool called um, curvature uh, tool, and in Photoshop curvature pen tool. Mm -hmm. And now I will bring back um, opacity of my first shape to 100%, just like that. I will um, highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer and I will add a few highlights. I can use uh, the same color but with a lighter shape, just like that. And we will add a few extra details. How many of you are trying out the curvature pencil in Photoshop right now? I see some people getting excited about it. Guys, playing with it now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this tool. Really, really powerful tool. And again, you can change um, color of your shape at any time, and definitely you can bring down opacity of your layer at any time. And you can create as many layers as you like. Don't worry about how many layers do you have. Nancy has a question about uh, choosing color. Uh, she noticed yesterday that some of the colors showed out of gamut, um, and is that important? Uh, I prefer to use, uh, to have contrast in my painting. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to use, um, expected colors <laughs> in combination with not expected colors. Example, um, we can add green color to our uh, pirate painting, we can add yellow color, we can add a blue color, we can add different colors to our pirates. It again, guys, it depends on your vision. Mm -hmm. Uh, no rules in here. Yeah, so not, not totally important for, for this kind of illustration. No. A lot of pirate talk in the chat now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to talk like a pirate. I would not be able I to. Can you talk like a pirate? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. R. That's about. That's all I can do. It's a nice R. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. By, by the way, guys, today is um, birthday of my uh, Lisa. Probably many of you know my dog. Oh, uh, happy she's birthday. five years old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she's adorable and she's five today. What is that in dog years? Uh, like a teenager? No, oh. a teenager, I believe. Oh, okay. Close to 40. Wow. 
Yeah, she's smart. <laughs> very middle-aged. <laughs> she's a very smart baby. Now, I created a new um, layer and I will use uh, unexpected color. I will add a few splashes of blue color. Nobody expect this color. So just like this and I will add a few splashes of blue color. Basically guys, have fun with your creation. Don't be scared of creating something um, not usual or something new. It's all it's always good. I just like this. Now I will create a new empty layer and let's see what I would like to add. Nora says five years in dog is thirty-five years. <gasps> in thirty-five. So we have an authority on okay. dog age. Yeah. <laughs> She's good baby. She's a very good baby. <laughs> Just like this. Now I will create empty layer under my, um, above my sketch layer, just like that. And we will continue. And um, now I will be working with many different uh, shapes because I would like to create something in more artistic way. I will add, um, many different shape with different colors just to make it more interesting. Guys, what are uh, are you planning something for Halloween? Any art or some specific Ooh, yeah. costumes? Any any Halloween ideas yet? Yes. Thanks. Share your ideas with us, guys. If you're in another country, do you uh, even celebrate Halloween? Or are there different uh, holidays in October mm -hmm. that you, you have? I know that um, my sister in Moscow mm -hmm. and her children started celebrate um, Halloween a few oh, years yeah. ago. It's getting more popular. Yeah, I was surprised. And they said, no, no, we do it too. <laughs> It's definitely a different method. Do you do you go piece by piece like this for most illustrations, or because um, you could also like take the whole like skull yes. piece, right? So yes, it just definitely. Depends on what you, what you need. Yes, but uh, in particular in this example, I would like to add, create something new mm -hmm. and more detailed. That's why. I will add a little bit more shapes as than mm -hmm. usual. Mm -hmm. So Philippa says that in Portugal, Halloween is nothing special, unfortunately. Well, that's uh -huh. all right. Yeah. You could dress up yourself and yeah. buy some candy and have fun. Oh, candy. <laughs> candy is the best part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Alexandra says that uh, your kids are going to be a ghost and Spider-Man for Halloween. Oh, I love Spider-Man. Spider I have good. illustrations. I created um, lately one spider illustration in Photoshop mm -hmm. and I have created, I do not remember, uh, in fresco. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love Spider-Man too. But my favorite is a Batman. Big fan of Batman. <laughs> Batman yeah. is good. Yeah. Claire Louise says that her son's birthday is on Halloween. Oh, congratulations. That's a, that's a great birthday to have, because then you could have a Halloween birthday party. Oh, I don't yes. know if that would get old, but <laughs> I, it sounds like fun to me. Yes, it's always fun. 
Dana's son loves to dress up like Elvis on Halloween. Elvis, oh <laughs> my God, I love Elvis, big fan. I'm glad kids know who Elvis is. I, I feel like that's slowly going out of the lexicon, you know? I yeah, know. it is. You made a Batman drawing, nice. <laughs> Val says that she's going to be the Count from Sesame Street on oh. Hallow's Eve and Kylo Ren on Halloween, which are very good costumes. Yeah. Please take photos. I know you will, but I want to see those. Yes. Derwin says uh, maybe they celebrate Dia de la Muerte, which, yeah, ah. Dia de los Muertos yes. um, in Me Mexico. Very Which nice. A beautiful holiday on November 1st. I yes. Believe. Yeah. Beautiful holiday. I've always wanted to go to Mexico to see the <gasps> Dia celebrations. Oh, me too. Someday. Someday. Yeah. I recently bought on Amazon, I posted on my social media, uh, I bought. Um, um, day of death uh, figure, mm -hmm. woman. It just um, woman with uh, art palette. It was so cool. It oh, was wow. so cute. When I saw it, I said, "It's so me." Darina says that um, in Bulgaria, I th think I missed the comment, but most people celebrate Halloween, but they've been missing it um, for the past four or five years. Uh, sucks. I missed few Halloweens too, for mm -hmm. some reason. I have too. Yeah. We all do. Yeah. Nancy says uh, her husband and his friends are going to run a beer mile for Halloween. Wow. You chug a beer and run a lap, <laughs> and then you chug again <laughs> and run. <laughs> wow, that that sounds, I, I don't know how to feel about that. It sounds like it could be bad. Uh, oh, whoever <laughs> finishes without throwing up wins. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Mario has a question about Adobe Fresco. So word is getting out. Is Adobe Fresco available for every device? And um, no, it is not currently. It's coming out for iPad first, and then we're looking at other devices uh, soon after. So stay tuned for that, but iPad initially. Fresco is amazing app. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And you'll be here tomorrow, right? Yes. On uh, Better Know a Brush, showing yes. Adobe Fresco. Yes. So. And we will create something very unique and very special, guys. This will be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Basically now, guys, I'm um, up creating a few shapes in darker uh, color, and um, I'm creating value uh, of my painting, and I will create another shape under all my uh, layers. It's a lot of details. And Another question about Fresco from Mario. When does it become available? Fresco is available next week on Tuesday, September 24th. It will be out in the App Store. So I'm sure Victoria um, and Brooke, who's hosting, will have more details tomorrow about that. Very soon. And yes, Dana, Victoria will be back tomorrow. Yes. I know there's a bit of a lag with chat, so don't know which comment came first. We will be here tomorrow with Fresco, and we will create something very beautiful. And different techniques, too. Yes. Like there's just so many different techniques you can get out of Photoshop, out of Fresco, out of yes. Illustrator. Now I will add a few more details.
here. People are talking about um, naming your files. What? <laughs> do you do you name your files weird names or no? Do you categorize? Like, are you actually very like organized with your files? I'm not. I'm organized now. <laughs> I was awful before, but now yeah. I'm organized. That's good. Basically, I'm um, saving all my files to my Dropbox, but also I have my folders in Lightroom. Mm -hmm. And Lightroom, I love Lightroom in many ways, but uh, specifically if I would like to show someone my uh, portfolio on the go, I can just hand that person my phone mm -hmm. and everything will be available. Lightroom is very uh, powerful tool. It is. And also there are less than 10 minutes um, oh. until the Photoshop challenge feedback deadline. So get those in. I'm less so than eight excited. Minutes now. I'm excited too. You were awesome yesterday, mm -hmm. guys. I think we have some more of those collages today as well, so we can take take a look at some of those. Yes. I see some coming in now, so get those in. If I will be not able to finish our um, pirate today, guys, I promise I will finish today or I will finish during my flight back home tomorrow and I will post everything on my behalf. Great. The skull's teeth are very tricky. intense. <laughs> They're <Yeah>. very tricky. <laughs> And again, you can create your even vector art in many styles. It's everything is up to you. No rules in here. Now you're not going to spend 50 hours on this goal, are no. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> And 50 time, uh, 50 hours um, I spent with my car because uh, we had a lot of details. It's such as uh, shadows, highlights, and uh, sh different shapes. Uh, so yeah, more details, more time you will need to spend on your painting or any art. Mm -hmm. Same color. Are you working on any uh, cool client projects at the moment? Uh, no, I finished just a few days ago. I had um big project for my client in my studio i took a few uh, headshots and mm -hmm. also we work on uh, painting and it basically was promotional material for her business mm -hmm. and now i took a few day, days break mm. breaks are important yeah but i will continue And I need to add 
add a few details around his teeth or her teeth. And I will add a different color. Philippa says, make, make those teeth bright and shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we could do like a gold tooth. Oh, yes. Like yeah. Yes. With, Great a lens, idea. with a lens flare. <laughs> Shiny tooth. Yes. Definitely we can do anything we like. Got about three minutes left to get those submissions in. Yay! Are you all in chat gonna start playing with the pen tool? I feel like I need to go sit down and, and play with this some more. It's been a, a long time since I've used the, the pen tool. It was one of the first things I learned in Photoshop. Pen tool, it right? It's pen tool, but now you have this nice curvature pen tool. Yes. That's so much better. Yeah, and a lot of more fun. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a big fan of a pen tool. It, uh, um, from the beginning of Photoshop, when uh, we were just introduced to pen tool, it was difficult. Mm -hmm. Now it's much, much better, but the curvature pen tool is the best. Yeah. Now we will add a little bit white color to our art. How are you deciding where you want uh, your highlights and your shadows? Is it mostly intuitive? Um, usually I use my highlights to shape out my subject, mm -hmm. to create kind of 3D dimension mm -hmm. illusion. And next to shadows, uh, we have, we always have shadows. Mm -hmm. Next to shadows, we always have highlights. Yeah. Chat, do you have any questions for Victoria? We're happy to answer them. Yes, guys. Ask anything you like. We have less than a minute left for the design feedback. Can't wait. It's looking really good. Thank you. <laughs> and a little bit um, more highlights around his nose. Mm -hmm. What left of it? That is the deadline, folks, to get your, your submissions for the design challenge in. Yay. So let's take a look at some of them. Uh, this first one from uh, Reaper667, challenge number three. That's really beautiful. Yes, it is. Yeah, I love the, the background is really wild. Yes, and a lot of uh, texture and Yeah, everything. it reminds me of the technique you showed yesterday with the, the oil painting filter. Yes. I wonder if that, that was it. Um, Very really beautiful. Yeah, nice use of, 
of the collage techniques. Mm -hmm. Colorful. Very, very colorful. Very nice. Yeah. Good stuff. I love it. This is from Lucy in the Sky. Love this one too. Yes. And the use of the the flowers in the background really make everything mm -hmm. feel very cohesive. I love the glow in the back as well. Yes. It's beautiful. And then the, like the lavender coming out of the ear <laughs> is a nice touch too. Yes. Really great. Very good. beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh. From Aurelia. Wow. Wow, this is this really is unique. Really, Instead yes. of just using the face and, and doing that split apart um, yes. vertically is unique. I love it. I, I love it too. And um the the touch here with yes. the hand as well. It's great work. Mm hmm You added some some shading. Um Maybe maybe a mixer brush or something was used here. Yes. Um, get that shadow in, and um, I like the use of uh, the type as well. Beautiful work. Really great. Very impressive. Mm -mm. I think that may have been all of them. So just a few uh, this it's, time around. It's very very good work. Yeah. We could take a look at some more of the yes other ones. Um, I, there were a few collages. <laughs> I'm not collages? sure which are ones. This is a an interesting oh, collage. That's so cool. Yeah, I love the monochromatic, mostly monochromatic um, yes. use of the blues and really dark. Um, the background reminds me, I don't know if you um, saw Mad Max Fury Road yes. when they were going through like the the weird watery desert world it's with beautiful. the trees, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, and the little fish. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very impressive work. Congratulations. This is a collage from Michael. Oh, Ooh. that's cool. Yeah, the use of repetition is nice. Yes. And trippy. perspective is so perfect. Yeah. And again, this one like looks like an album cover as well. Yes. Great, great, great work. Mm -hmm. I love it. Everything perfectly aligned, perfect perspective. Yeah. This is from T. Murphy. I saw this one earlier and it's one of my favorites <laughs> so just because cool. I love Godzilla. <laughs> yes, me too. Um, and the fruits are great. Um, <laughs> what's he doing with that lime? Is he, is he making a mojito? I we love lime and yeah. lemon. And the, like, the, I don't know if that's an orange or a grapefruit. It's, I think it's an orange. Um, on the horizon is nice. And the, who are these guys? What are they doing? <gasps> and oh. they, it's a brain and a heart. Yes. I love that. That's cool. Yeah, this is, this is a really, really great collage. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Yes, guys. Another one from Silau. Silau. I love it too. These environments are amazing. Uh -huh. I feel like some of these could be in the same world, you know, with the, yep. with the deserts. Um, I like this character. The repetition with the eyeballs is really nice. <laughs> um, the dragon in the background. I love dragons. Oh my god. Dragons are great. Really nice. Very, very nice. Oh. Got some Middle Earth going on. <laughs> I got nice. Taking you to the ends of Middle Earth. More towards <laughs> travel. Yeah, this is a definitely a destination I don't want to go to. <laughs> Unless I have a ring that I need to drop off somewhere. Yes. And that's a good place to be. Um, really nice collage. Oh, I, very, very. I like Smeagol inside the ring. That's definitely where he wants to be. And Dragon's face yeah. next to it. Yes, this is a good ad. Good Mordor ad. Yes. Um, this is another collage from Tan. Oh. This is pretty. Watch out. Great. Yeah. yeah. It's really beautiful. I. This underwater scene down here mm -hmm. is really nice. Yes. I like, I like the eyes on the rock. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, those, that was a, I think that was an addition. These are all the pieces that yes. they use. So like being able to see what um, what was used in the collage itself. I love it. Yeah, really good stuff. So those are just some of the the other collages um, that we've gotten in. So hopefully the rest of you might uh, still have some time to do the other challenge. I know um, Sam Peterson is always in the chat giving giving feedback. Um, so please still do get those those challenges in. But let's jump it back into our pirate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will um, continue applying highlight. So, and I will um, each shape. Usually, I'm creating a new layer. It's easy to modify anything later on. Basically, I have full control over each uh, a shape. And this is super important. Mm -hmm. Using as a curvature pen tool, you can create any posters uh, for a movie theater or mm -hmm. anything you like. Mm -hmm. Just um, example, you can. Um, uh, remove background from some subject and create background using your curvature pen tool and it will be something unique and mm -hmm. some diamond shapes with different colors or simply uh, shapes, different um, shapes. Mm -hmm. You always can create something new and unexpected. And I know I'm talking a lot of uh, creating unexpected art mm -hmm. because, yeah, I love it. So a little bit more details above uh, his uh, mouse. And again, guys, you don't have to create all um, these details. It's up to you. I think this, this skull is one that um might look really interesting with uh, some of the Photoshop brushes applied on yes. the surface to make it, it look gritty and weathered. Yes, and we will do it. Cool. If we will have time. Yeah, we have about 17 minutes left. Oh! So, yeah, we're running out of time. But I will finish, I promise, guys. <laughs> I will finish it and I will post on my behinds our latest on next week. Uh, on Monday, it will be latest. Nor asks um, if you get annoyed or distracted by the fill color while you're using the pen tool in this mode. No. Don't mind. I, um, of course, uh, if uh, Photoshop team uh, can add some option, uh, example, I can um, specify one fill for my shape and um, save it, I don't know, some from drop down menu or something like this. It will be faster, but I don't mind. Mm -hmm. And everything is much, everything is much easier um, when I work from my studio, because as I said yesterday, I'm dis I display all my tools on my iMac and I have entire Cintiq space for my document and I can see everything uh, more clearly without scrolling on my image um, all the time. Just a little bit more indications of that um, we have some shapes above our mouth. Just a little bit. Just like this and some around here. If you never uh, worked with the curvature pen tool. When you ja if you will start example uh, today, it will be a little bit uh, um, unusual for you. Definitely you will spend more time, but tomorrow everything will be much easier. You will feel more comfortable and everything will go much, much faster. 
all about practice. Yeah, a little bit. And I will add another color and I will bring down opacity of this layer just slightly. And maybe I will move my layer down. Yes, and new layer and new um, shape. You can finish your project in um, 20 minutes or uh, 50 hours or 100 <laughs> hours. Those are the two options, 20 yeah. minutes, 50 hours. It just depends on what you want. Yes. <laughs> but don't try to start and finish everything in um, one time. Mm -hmm. Just you need fresh eye. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's really good to walk away just yeah. for a little while, especially after you've been working on a screen for hours at a time, you forget how tired you get. Oh yes, you need to need to rest for sure. Yes, and don't put. If example, you finished your painting and you said, "Okay, I'm good. I love what I did. I will uh, post. Uh, I will send this uh, project to my client right away, or mm -hmm. I will share my post on a social media right away." Never do it. Yeah. Never, just spend some time, go away, come back an hour later. And if um, one hour later you will think in the same way, that it's good, do it. But sometimes even um, I, sometimes I'm posting some something or so I, I post, uh, send something to my client and in a few minutes later I said, oh my God, why did I do this? Mm -hmm. I can change this or that. And at the very least, a good tip I learned is while you're working, um, I know we've been working here for a while, um, Every it's recommended that every 20 minutes or so after you've looked at a screen to either look out a window or find like the furthest point that you can see and just stare at that thing for, for 20 or 30 seconds. Just Great to, advice. To rest your eyes. Um, then come back and look at the screen because you're looking at this flat surface for yes. so long. So it, it really does affect your eyes and um, you need need different perspective um, when you're working on your artwork. That great advice. I mm -hmm. will use it from now on. And blink. All blink. Blink. blinking. Blinking is important. <laughs> yes. I wear contacts, so I, I can actually not blink for a while, which is dangerous. It's like not breathing, too. Sometimes like I hold my breath while I'm working. and that's, Yes. And then you're like <gasps> uh -huh. gasping for air. Yes. I got Fran uh, Cisco said it. Uh, or was that you, Paco? Yeah. Oh, Paco said it. Um, so it's the 2020. 20 thing, so you, um, every 20 minutes, you stare at something 20 feet away for, for 20 seconds. That's great advice. Yeah, no, seriously, you all should do it. It's really important, and it actually makes a world of difference. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so many great advices. Oh my God, I will use them all. And we have about 10 minutes left. Oh. You know? Sad flies. It really does. This one went faster than yesterday. Yes. Oh my god. What are 20 feet in meters? Jan asks. And hmm. Isn't a meter three feet? So it's like Probably. Yeah, I can't I can't divide. I can't math. So <laughs> Me too. I'm bad. That's what it. Google's for. <laughs> or Alexa. <laughs> That's about six meters. Oh, okay. For mostly everyone that's in Europe and, and elsewhere. Carla says, um, a teacher once told me to turn the image upside down or to make it very small um, and walk to the other side of the room and look at it to see if the shapes and color, uh, or see the shapes and color and not 
as much the subject matter. So mm -hmm. you're just like looking what that looks like from afar. That's a good tip too. Yes. Um, if it works for you. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's mentioned it yet, um, but another one is to flip the canvas. Um, sometimes, like you see weird things that you would never notice. Uh, I never did it. Yeah, so that's one way. I, you know, it's not for everyone, but um, some people really love to flip the canvas and, and check out what the image looks like. Um, oh, I just try it. It could look weird. Yeah, and it's it's just another way to notice things that you might not have seen from a different perspective. Yes, I will try definitely. Because sometimes um, working uh, without stop uh, for three, four hours, and I'm just sometimes I have uh, <laughs> trouble to open my hand. Oh yeah, yes. You can get repetitive stress injuries really easily. Yes. These are all good tips, folks. If you have any, if you have any other folks in the or um, if you have any other tips in the chat, please pop them in there. Yes, help us. <laughs> yeah. Ergonomics is important. Yeah. Let's see so far. Let me uh, hide my original. Uh, oh, it's looking pretty good. And I will add <laughs> gold teeth. Yes, gold teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How many gold teeth though? Should we have like all gold teeth? Just some gold teeth? I don't know. Maybe gold, gold teeth with diamond Ooh, accent. Oh, yeah. We can yeah. do it. <laughs> we can add earrings, <laughs> I think. Yep. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. So now I will add a little bit more details here. How detailed do you think you're gonna go with this illustration? Uh, I would like to add uh, more triangle details to mm -hmm. it with yellow and blue and green. Do something not usual mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because um, um, close to Halloween we will have a lot of same kind of art mm -hmm. and I always um, love to bring something new, yeah. different. little bit the adjustments in here. Mm -hmm. it's, as you can see, guys, it's super easy to work with Garuchev pen tool. Yeah, this is this is a great tool to use for yes. for drawing. Very enjoyable tool. Mm -hmm. Just like this. And now I will add a few more details. We almost have just five minutes left, so oh. if there are any last um, questions for Victoria, please please Very ask them. Very sad time. Yeah. Although, again, Victoria will be back tomorrow on Better Know a Brush. Yes. Um, showing off Adobe Fresco. Yes. <laughs> tomorrow we will create something very special. I'd definitely tune in for that. <laughs> I know Thank I will. <laughs> Thank you. And then um, maybe in a little bit we could uh, go over everything that you've done over the past yes. few days. Yes. Yeah. When you will be ready, I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, we could definitely do it now. Yes. So we started with um, Jeff the alien. 
<laughs> our friend here, um, Jeff's back, yes. folks. So, um, started with Jeff. We what what else? You used a bunch of different tools. Yes, we used uh, Kyle Webster's um, uh, oil brushes. We used um, uh, Kyle Webster's uh, watercolor brushes. Mm -hmm and special effects of brushes. All brushes are um, Kyle Webster's. We mm -hmm. didn't use any other brushes. Mm -hmm. We downloaded them from Adobe website. If you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, all those brushes are free. More than thousand and thousand of free brushes mm -hmm. available. And how do you access those again? One you more can time for folks. access from your uh, brushes panel. Simply click on tab accordion um, icon and click on get, get more, more brushes. brushes. It's right there. And you will be redirected to Adobe website. Yeah. And a little bit slow. And from here, you can download, just download brushes to your local drive. Double click on your uh, file, and mm -hmm. file will be um, downloaded to your um, Photoshop. And yeah. that's it. You can yeah. use them. Looks like it doesn't want to load right now. But yeah, if you do okay. go there, you have just hundreds of, of options for brushes. Yes. And we finished with this Jeff. <laughs> we add a little bit. Um, Jeff with more drama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little bit spaceship. We uh, added a little bit uh, lens flare and um, a few adjustment layers. Mm -hmm. Also, we um, created this beautiful pumpkin using uh, the curvature mm -hmm. pen tool. And we worked, uh, I uh, deleted that <laughs> document, sorry. Mm -hmm. We also created a um, pumpkin uh, using, um, yes, I closed this file. With a uh, symmetry tool. Symmetry painting tool. Yeah. And we started working on this beautiful uh, pirate and we have no time to finish it. I will mm -hmm. finish later on. Yeah. You have a few minutes left, so you okay. can add some, a little, a few more details. A little so, bit more details. So you can see just just how many ways there are to to make an illustration here in Photoshop, and this is just a few of them. There are a lot more ways that you could, or you could mix the techniques together. You could mm -hmm. say start with a pen tool and um, add Photoshop brushes on top of that to get more textures, yes. or vice versa, um, or start with the symmetry tool. Um, all kinds of ways to work. Yes, you can create something completely different, completely new every day. Mm -hmm. Just create, guys, every day. Try to create something new. Even if you never painted before, uh, start with the mixer brush tool. Mm -hmm. uh, the mixer brush tool, you can create any art uh, based on your um, image. A photo and you can create anything using the mixer brush tool even if you never painted before just try it Absolutely. out if you have any questions just ask well let's do our um I think that's all we have time for today. But yeah. thank you so much, Victoria. You showed us thank so many you. different ways of, of illustrating in Photoshop. Um, so thank you all for, for coming. And thank you so much, Thank Victoria. you, guys. No, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So um, coming up next um, will be the uh, XD uh, Daily Challenge. So stay tuned for that. And then after that will be the XD Design Systems with Christine Fan. So definitely stay tuned and thank you so much. Thank for you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>